Thunder Bay could be getting a new lithium hydroxide processing plant that would create hundreds of jobs and spark an economic boost in the region. That's the plan for Avalon Advanced Materials after it announced the purchase of a former mill property on Strathcona Avenue. Vasilios Fellows is following this story and joins us live in studio with the details. Vasilios? Thanks, Riley. Officials could not disclose the dollar value of the purchase and only said the land was bought from a private group. The company is expecting the facility will create 500 jobs with the goal of having processing begin in four years. An exciting land purchase in Thunder Bay that could create an economic boost in the region. It's a great day for the province, a great day for the country, and we're hoping a great day for the city. Avalon Advanced Materials announced Monday morning the purchase of the former pulp and paper mill site with the plan to have a lithium hydroxide processing facility up and running there by 2027. The company, which already has lithium deposits in the northwest, estimates a processing plant could create 500 jobs. President Z. Shan Syed explains what about the property appealed to the group. A deep port, uh, water access uh, to U.S. and international markets. Uh, it's got rail, road, uh, full util utilities ready to roll. So it really makes, uh, from a de-risking perspective and for really to get us on our right foot, it's a fantastic first step for us. Processing lithium is expected to play an important role in terms of reducing greenhouse gas emissions and is a crucial mineral when developing electric vehicle batteries. Syed believes because of this and government commitments to greener initiatives, a processing plant would benefit the local economy for years to come. It's a really exciting sector that's taking off, but it's just growing now. Uh, this is going to be a sector there for the long term. The opportunities for our young, talented people in Thunder Bay uh, opportunities to skill and reskill and upskill people uh, to tap into that tremendous talent in Thunder Bay. That's certainly one fantastic opportunity that uh, really we're, we're, we're keen on. Andrew Kane with the Thunder Bay CEDC recognizes the purchase does not confirm a lithium mine and the processing plant will be constructed, but stresses the benefits those developments would bring. You know, the market cap for a, a typical lithium mine is uh, upwards of $300 million. Um, and a lithium hydroxide facility of typically 500 million to 800 million dollars. Definitely hundreds of construction jobs and uh, several hundred uh, permanent uh, high paying full time jobs as well. Avalon Advanced Metals could not provide timelines for the work to begin, but say they will be transparent with the community during the process. Vasilios Bellows, TVT News.